Now once your form is on, you want to put sonic tube on. We do not like a mushroom swelled head on um, the top of your pier. So what we do is we've made this sonic tube be able to attach to the bottom of that form with three screws, little one inch screws. You can use sheet metal screws if you want, but we provide you with the screws. Um, and what this is designed, the sonic tube stays there, okay? It's used at once. The forms are designed to come back off, okay? And be reused over and over and over again. So now, you've got the form on, you've got the sonic tube in, and um, you've got the clip in place. This pier is ready for concrete that fast. Sonic tube does not, we usually try to get into the ground probably about six inches. Three to six inches will keep the concrete from boiling out of the hole but it also keeps the mushroom head from forming at the top of the pier. Frost was, is a major concern from here north. So anytime you can make the pier smaller at the, at the top versus letting it flare out, um, frost can't grab a hold of it and pull it out. And uh, many of us have been around, you see somebody's poured concrete, they've struck it off at the top of the ground, and all of a sudden there's about this much gap between the, the mushroom head and uh, bottom of the concrete. What's happening is frost is grabbing and swelling up the ground, moving that pier up. You don't want that to happen. So keep your, keep your cylinder as straight and smooth as you can from the top to the bottom. So now everything's done, you've got the concrete truck there, you're ready to fill it up with concrete.